What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Luigi back at it again with a brand new sneaker review and today is part 17 to the series Fresh Kicks for under $100. If you guys are unfamiliar with that series, it's pretty much a series where I go and I try to find the best sneaker for you guys whether it's in the store, online, pretty much wherever I can find it, I try to find the best sneaker for under $100 for you guys. If you aren't sneakers and I'm pretty sure you are because you clicked on this video, make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram at underscore Luigi to stay updated on all my behind the scenes content, sneaker content, clothing content, or if you just want to message me to chop it up, my messages are always open to you guys. Pretty much whenever I do get a brand new sneaker pickup, I usually do post it on my Instagram. So if you guys want to catch all the behind the scenes content, or if you just want to stay updated and find out whenever I'm going to drop a brand new video, follow me on my Instagram, underscore Luigi. Also hit that subscribe button. It really does help the channel out a lot. I really do appreciate it. And if you like the video, hit that thumbs up just to show us again that you guys really do enjoy the content. Also click that little bell to stay notified because we do drop videos every single week, but let's get into the review today's sneaker review is going to be a sneaker that is very loved by me and very loved by a lot of people and i know a lot of people say that boost might be dead it's not as hyped as it used to be and i can pretty much agree with that it's like the hype for the ultra boost goes i would say it's completely dead it's not as big as it used to be but me personally myself i still love ultra boost i think they're super comfortable it's one of my favorite sneaker models of all time we've had to at least one point own a pair of ultra boost or was super crazy about adidas you know me myself i still love adidas not as much as i used to i i will admit that the hype did die down for them as far as like for me i'm not really crazy about adidas as much as i used to be but as far as like the ultra boost goes it's still like a super clean sneaker it's very iconic and it's just never a bad day when you get a fresh pair of ultra boost but enough about that i know you guys want to get into the sneaker so let's get into it. so the box that we have today is not your regular standard like ultra boost box adidas completely you know with retroing this specific colorway they completely just changed the box as well i would say even though the box design is really cool i still do prefer like the og ultra boost box a cool thing about this box is so the way that it opens up it opens up on both sides so i thought that was actually pretty cool and the only difference about it is just obviously it opens up differently the logo right here it's adidas you have the three stripes right here more adidas branding on i know you guys don't really care about the box so the adidas ultra boost solar yellow and the 2.0 version now this thing is super bright i know it's super bright it's definitely a sneaker that when you wear it it like stands out i mean my girlfriend clowns me all the time when i wear these saying that like i look like a construction worker i look like a highlighter and I would say it is extremely very bright, but just something about that pop and just the colorway itself just drew to me. You know, this is my second favorite colorway of all time for the Ultra Boost. Obviously, the first one is always going to be the classic triple white. Solar yellow colorway goes. I've always liked the sneaker. I think this colorway was just super fire. Now, I don't have the 1.0 version to compare it to you guys, but the one big difference about it that I know a lot of people don't really know about or a lot of people have noticed is the pattern here on it. I mean, this sneaker is definitely still a grail to me, and I got these for $90 off of eBay, which was an absolute steal, dead stock, never worn before. In a day, it's a pair of Ultra Boosts. I mean, you can't really go wrong. Super comfortable. You know, you can wear it with shorts, jeans, doesn't really matter, but let's get into the review. First thing that we're gonna get into is the colorway of the sneaker. And sneakers predominantly that solar yellow hit across the sneaker, but you do have other colors on the sneaker. You do have a black hit, which is on the pattern right here on the toe box. And this whole entire sneaker is done in primate. So pretty much the whole primate is just a mixture of that solar yellow and the black. You do have that white midsole and just that's pretty much just the colorway of the whole entire sneaker it's just predominantly like yellow black and white i mean it's just a simple color sneaker like i said it does pop it is very bright so if you're not really into bright sneakers then this sneaker will probably not be for you the yellow just overpowers everything that yellow just pops out really hard and just sticks out really hard materials of the sneaker now the sneaker is done in just one whole entire material the sneaker is done in like a prime knit so if you guys aren't familiar with prime knit it's pretty much like a stretchable material to it it is very soft it's soft to the touch and it does feel really nice whenever you put your foot inside the black hit of prime knit right here you do have the pattern now like i said before in the beginning of the video the difference between this sneaker and the 1.0 version is the pattern right here on the toe box it is slightly different into the side of the sneaker on the lateral and on the medial side you do have this cage right here which is the ultra boost is famously known for the cage right here is done in like these black hits and on top of that you do have some more of that solar yellow so i do like how like the solar yellow and like the black they just complement each other very well if this colorway was on any other sneaker i don't think it would look too good it's just something about just putting this specific colorway on the ultra boost model it just does really well especially with the cage it's always been one of my favorite things about the ultra boost um if you're not a big fan of the cage i guess you can cut them off i don't really recommend that because if you're just going to do that you might as well just buy like an uncaged ultra boost but i do think like the the cage on the side does complement the sneaker really well and i like how it just blends in you know subtly with like the three stripes so i thought that was a good touch the shoelaces of the sneaker now you have your standard regular 
flat laces right here. They're not rope laces. The laces of the sneaker are solar yellow. Me personally, if you guys know me, if you guys have been watching my videos for a long time, you guys know I'm not personally a big fan of shoe color laces. Very rarely I ever do wear any like color laces besides black and white. It, it have to be a really rare occasion for me to, you know, get anything that's like a, co a different color on a shoelace besides black or white. As far as laces go, it's just standard, regular, uh, solar yellow flat laces, nothing too crazy. You do have the black tips right here, so I guess that is a little touch to it. Or maybe I could throw on like some black laces and on the tips they'd be solar yellow. That would probably be fire too. Going into the back by where the heel tab is, you do have some more branding right here. It do, does say Ultra Boost right that is connected right here to the cage of the sneaker on the side. Nothing too wild, but like I said, the sneaker is just predominantly just solar yellow and just black. And these two colors, they just, they look really good together. Midsole of the sneaker, you have that standard, iconic white Ultra Boost midsole. Now, if you guys have never owned a pair of Ultra Boosts, if you guys are thinking about buying them, if you're thinking about pulling the trigger on them, me personally, I've owned so many. As far as like boost goes, there's nothing more comfortable than the Ultra Boost. You put this on your feet and then you will see for yourself how comfortable it is. I've worn Ultra Boost, I've worn my Yeezys all day, and my feet don't hurt after wearing them all day just because that boost technology is just so comfortable. Standard regular white Ultra Boost midsole, same thing on the lateral and on the medial side. And it's just, you know, if you've seen a pair of Ultra Boosts, or if you've seen Boost sneakers, you see this white midsole. It's it's so iconic and so legendary that you already know what it is. As far as sizing goes, because I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments and a lot of people are gonna ask me like, should I go true to size? Should I go down half a size? I'm gonna tell you guys right now so you guys don't have to ask me like a million times. As far as the Ultra Boost goes, I did go up half a size just because the sneaker does fit really tight. Just because of that prime knit material, the sneaker does fit really tight. So I would recommend um, going up half a size just because they run really small. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can just go true to size and you can always just take the insole out of the sneakers. Going into the outsole of the sneaker, the difference on, from the 2.0 and the 1.0 is it doesn't have the continental outsole. So the 2.0, they actually put the continental outsole on it it's just your black regular this is your regular black ultra boost outsole you can see inside the hits of where the boost technology is but i do prefer the continental outsole just because this will last you longer you can pretty much wear these for a long time so going back to the sneaker one more time the solar yellow ultra boost 2.0 is definitely a sneaker that is very bright it's not your regular sneak. If you're someone like me who's into solar yellow, it's just think about like that solar yellow colorway. It's just, I don't know, it just speaks to me. This is definitely a sneaker that has been one of my grills for a very long time. I remember when I saw them at Sneaker Con, they were, they were in that display case. And I just went crazy over them. At one point, you know, these were going for such an absurd amount of money. I almost pulled the trigger on them. I'm glad I did it. When I first saw the news that Adidas was gonna retro these and come out with the 2.0 versions, I went absolutely insane because I knew I had to own these. Um, if you guys are not a fan of this solar yellow color, the way they did come out in like a solar orange colorway as well if you guys prefer the orange instead of the yellow but as far as the solar yellow colorway goes it's just a clean sneaker you know especially now that it's summer these look perfect with shorts with some high cut adidas socks you know this is definitely going to be like a statement sneaker it's not like your regular pair of like white air force it's not like a regular pair of like all white stan smiths this is definitely a sneaker that you're going to wear and it's going to get a lot of attention it's super bright it's not subtle or anything but it's definitely a sneaker that i needed in my collection I love the pattern on, especially on the toe box. That's gonna be pretty much it. I'm gonna throw these on feet to show you guys how I styled them, and that will be the end of the video. Guys, hit that subscribe button if you guys did enjoy the content. Hit that like button if you guys did enjoy the video, and click that little bell to stay notified because we do drop videos every single week. Follow me on my Instagram, my underscore Luigi, to stay updated on all my behind the scenes content, sneaker content, clothing content. Make sure you guys follow the cameraman on his Instagram at Leon underscore Kev. If you guys appreciate all the dope photos on my Instagram, if you guys like the on feeds, Kev is responsible for them. So make sure you guys follow him on his Insta at Leon underscore Kev. That's going to be pretty much it. And I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace.